back to the Serious Science Show channel and welcome to a new video. You guys just saw me do my morning routine. That's not what my morning looks like most days, but I have somewhere to be today, so I decided to get ready for you guys. Welcome to the start of a new reading vlog here on the channel. This reading vlog is kind of impromptu. It's very not planned. Why not just show you guys a couple of days in my life? But yeah, you guys saw me make my face, make some coffee, put on my essential oil diffuser, and yeah, let's talk. I really should have put this coffee in my mug. That would have been more aesthetic, but here we are with this reusable Starbucks cup. All right, so for the reading portion of this week's vlog, we're going to be talking about two books. One of them I'm planning on finishing, if not today, tomorrow. The other one that we're going to be talking about in this week's vlog is my super exciting announcement that I have been keeping from you guys for about like two, three weeks now, I want to say. It's been a while. I've been holding my tongue, but I'm so excited to announce this, but that's coming later. First of all, we got to finish Girls of Paper and Fire. Oh, and by the way, I totally forgot to show you guys, but an update on how the paint on my pages are looking. Current plan today is that I have nowhere to be until 1.30 ish. It's nine in the morning, so it's pretty early. I think I'm just going to sit in my bed and honestly read Girls with Paper and Fire. Like, I really just want to finish it. What I should be doing right now, however, as a college student that has responsibilities, is that I should be studying for my chemistry midterm that I might or might not be taking tomorrow in the morning, but I'll get to that later today. But yeah, so um, until about 1.30, I'm just going to like sit here and read my book and sip my coffee and you guys will see a little montage of that and anything that I have to say about that. And once I get done with Girls of Paper and Fire, I will finally show you guys what the big surprise is. So just keep watching. So update, it's a little later now. It's now, I don't even know what time it is. It's now 12 o'clock. I've got somewhere to be at 1.30. I think I said that earlier, but I've just been reading. I've just been reading this entire time. I stopped to get food, like breakfast, but like, ah, uh, I want to finish this book so bad, but I definitely do need to study for my chemistry midterm. So right now I'm going to stop reading, unfortunately, and go study for my chemistry midterm. I'm going to go to the library until my shift at uh, 1.30 for my volunteer work. I think I'll take you guys along with me for that. I feel really awkward vlogging out in public, but we're just gonna do it. We're just, we're just gonna do it. I'm gonna make some coffee and let's get going. <laughs> Hello, so it is now Thursday, like at 8.30 in the morning. I'm running late, what's new? I've got somewhere to be. Um, I didn't end up filming anything yesterday because yesterday was just a hectic day. Basically, I had my chemistry midterm at 11 in the morning and I was studying and making my flashcard that I had until then and I went and I took it and it went well. And then after my chemistry midterm, I had my biology class for an hour and then I ended up in the library for like three hours doing chemistry homework. And then I had a bunch of club stuff to do in the evening. So basically I had no time to update you guys at all yesterday. Unfortunately, that also means that I also did not have time to read yesterday at all. So even though I had originally planned to be done with Girls of Paper and Fire by Tuesday, uh, it's now Thursday and it hasn't been done. Ah, we love the life of a college student, don't we? So this was just a quick update in the morning to let you guys know why Wednesday was non-existent in this vlog. I'm about to go head off because I have an interview to go to for this opportunity that I'm trying to get in on. So pray for me, hopefully it goes well. I actually won't know until like 
the end of December, so we won't know. And later, I will be back to finish Girls of Paper and Fire and also tell you guys about the very exciting information that I have been withholding from you guys for a while. Actually, if you're on my social media, you probably will have already seen this because I'm supposed to be posting about it today. Don't really know when that's gonna happen, but it's gonna happen at some point today in real time. Um, but you guys will be seeing this on Sunday, so sorry if you're late, but if you're on my social media, you already saw it, so thanks for following. I will catch you guys later in the day to let you guys know what this news is. What has been like 15 seconds for you guys has been about four hours for me. Last time I talked to you guys, I was leaving for my interview this morning. I think it went well. I'm really happy with how I answered their questions. They said at the end that I was efficient in answering their questions. They really liked me. I made them laugh a couple times, which is always nice. Just cross your fingers for me, all right? Let's get some good energy here for your girl because I need it. So anyway, in real time, I need to finish reading Girls of Paper and Fire so that I can open this package with you guys and share this big news. Like I said, if you're on my social media, you've already seen this, but this is just for those of you who wanted me to see me do like the actual like unpackaging and like holding the book for the first time and like just like the actual reaction. So that's coming soon. But for now, I am 60 pages away from finishing Girls of Paper and Fire. It's atrocious that I haven't finished this book already. I really should have finished it on Tuesday. Did it happen? No. But you know what? It's fine. We're here now. Let's finish this book and then we can move on to the big announcement. Are you, are you, are you joking? Oh, oh. <laughs> Yikes, I'm so stressed. Oh. an adventure. Reading is such an adventure. <laughs> Alright everybody, it's been about 30 minutes since you saw me finish reading Girls of Paper and Fire and honestly like I'm kind of I'm on the fence between four and five stars with this one. I really liked this book up until the ending. The ending was super not what I expected but I can see why it ended the way it ended because there is a sequel obviously Girls of Storm and Shadow that just came out a couple days ago. So I see why it ended the way it ended. I just really wish it didn't end that way. And I'm trying to be lenient between I see why it ended this way versus I really wish it didn't end this way. So the full review for Girls of Paper and Fire will be up on my blog, as always, seriousnineshirt.com if you wanna see my full thoughts. But let's get on to the most exciting part of this reading vlog. Let's talk about my announcement. If I can get a drum roll going, that would be really cool. I'm a Penguin Teen Influencer! I am a part of Penguin Teen's Influencer Program. I got an email from somebody that works at Penguin Teen on October 15th, and I got invited to be an influencer in their Penguin Teen Influencer Program. So that is my big announcement. That is my oh my god news. I can't believe this is happening because I'm like nobody here on BookTube. This tiny space that we have created, like, caught somebody's attention from Penguin Teen. Like, it's just crazy to me. So part of the first thing that I'm doing that is partnered with Penguin Teen is an Instagram activation for Amanda Joy's debut novel, River of Royal Blood. And the book that I have to show you guys is none other than River of Royal Blood. I got it sent to me from Penguin Teen. Like, I actually, it's sitting right here. I'm about to open it for you guys, but like, I'm just, I'm just I don't know how this has happened. I. Uh, Let's open it. I'm so excited. <laughs> there it is. Okay. Yep. Let's just slide it on out here and... Oh my god, it's glossy! What? Oh my god, I don't think I've ever had a glossy, like, paperback, or hardback, like, dust jacket 
It's glossy. <gasps> Go off, I see you. All right, I'm gonna move this way so that I can kind of hold it to an angle. I'm sorry that this like lighting is, I didn't expect it to be glossy, okay? All right, so if you guys have never heard of Amanda Joy or River of Royal Blood, it's about these two sisters that grow up in the queendom of Mire. And basically there's a rival hair tradition in this queendom where two sisters rise and as soon as they are of age to take over and be the queen of this queendom, they have to fight and eventually one sister has to die so that the other sister can become the queen. So the main character of A River of Royal Blood is Ava. Eva, she's a 16 year old girl and she is now coming of age to face her older sister Issa. So the book takes place right as this face off is about to happen where they fight to the death. And in the week leading up to this battle between the sisters, um, somebody tries to assassinate Eva. And Eva is born with the magic of marrow and blood, which is some kind of dark and twisted magic that hasn't been seen in the queendom for centuries. And from what I gather from the synopsis, I think Eva in the beginning at least is not really like she can't control her magic or she doesn't really know that she has it or something like that because it says in the synopsis that um, after her assassination attempt she turns to a fae instructor and a chimera prince who helps her develop her magic into something that is feared yeah that is my announcement as I said you guys already have seen this so you already know but here is my reaction to it and here's me reading the synopsis I think um for the rest of this reading vlog I will just be reading a little bit of this book but I am definitely going to do a whole book to video like dedicated to a review of this book so stay tuned for that okay so um me in real time just got finished posting all the social media things that went along with making the penguin team announcement so like I said this has already been up for a couple days by the time you you guys have seen this but like if you haven't liked my Instagram pictures hold on let me pull them up so that I can show you if you have not liked these pictures that I just posted with me in this exact same makeup and stuff with the book um please do anyway I just kind of wanted to pop on because like I just wanted to give a spotlight moment to how stressed I was making sure that all of this stuff went up when I said that it was going to go up which you don't see behind the scenes a lot of just like content creation is being incredibly anxious and frustrated about the process of getting things live, especially things that you're anticipating. Now, sometimes you just have roadblocks that you didn't anticipate and that happens a lot with content creation. So I just wanted to give a spotlight to how stressful it is and how much you guys never see this because it's definitely there. We just don't talk about it. So I think that's all I have for you guys for today, Thursday. I definitely have not done any homework today. Um, yeah, so I need to go do that. But I think tomorrow I will end the vlog by just getting a little bit a little bit ways through a river of royal blood and then i'll show you guys a little bit like where i am how i'm feeling about it and things like that and then we will wrap up this reading vlog but like i said if you haven't liked my um partnered post on instagram or my blog please do please just please all right i will catch you guys tomorrow <laughs>
about like 100 pages or so of A River of Royal Blood just to be able to give you guys some like ideas and thoughts that I have on the book so far and I think that I desperately need a break from homework and I'm going to start it and close this video off because I need to edit it tonight. <laughs> Yay! Next time you guys see me I will be giving you an update as to what I think about the book and I will be closing out this video hopefully dressed, hopefully not looking like a mess. So I'll see you guys later. <laughs> So I never outro the video yesterday even though I said like oh I need to finish this video So here I am. It is now Sunday. It's around like 9 in the morning So if you're watching this when it goes up later, hello, this is me from the same day So last night, um, I actually didn't get a chance to get uh, to 100 pages into A River of Royal Blood I ended up getting about 65 pages into A River of Royal Blood um, and then I stayed up until like 1am editing up until this point of the vlog. There's already so much going on in this book, like within the first 50 pages that assassination attempt that I mentioned on Eva's life happened, so I've already seen that and that was crazy. So since I'm not that far into the book, there's not exactly a lot that I can say right now about it, but I did want to come on and just say that there is a lot of elements happening here, um, un unsurprisingly, because this is a book about magic and fae and like different types of people. Happening. There's different casts of people and they all have their different like abilities and like phenotypic features. So a lot of world building is in this book already. So I would be lying if I said that I wasn't a little bit intimidated by how much information was thrown at me within the six first 60 pages of this book. But again, like it is fantasy. It's a very intricate world with very intricate like abilities from people and fae and bloodkin. So there's just a lot going on. But that's just an opportunity for me to take a lot of book review notes to make sure that I have it straight and when I talk about it, I have it straight. So far, the things that I think I really appreciate this about this book is just the fact that it's so normal to grow up in a culture where it's like expected that once you turn 17, you're going to kill your sister. I just could not imagine living in a reality like that. So the fact that they're just like, yeah, in two months, we're gonna fight until one of us dies. Like that's so weird to me, but it's cool. I'm also really enjoying the sick idea that like you have tattoos that allow you to to be able to use your magic. So when anybody becomes nine in this queendom, they get tattoos that allow them to use and wield their magic. And I just think that's so cool. That's such an interesting way to introduce magic into this world. Unsurprisingly, I'm already seeing themes of very complicated family dynamics and also a lot of internal confliction within our main character. I don't really want to get into why because I might already be spoiler territory, so I'm just gonna chill on that one. But yeah, there seems to be a lot of complex emotions in this book. And overall, I'm just excited to keep reading, learning more about this world, and seeing how this fight happens. So with that being said, I do need to edit this clip and put it into the video and get it up within the next like three hours. So thank you guys so much for watching this week's vlog. It was crazy. I hope you enjoyed seeing a little bit of my life in college here at Oregon State and reading and announcing that I am a Penguin Team partner, which I still cannot believe. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys on the channel next Sunday. Bye!